Hi everyone. Uh, I would like to thank Professor Lombroso to uh, maintain the organization of this amazing OCT meeting. Today I'm talking about uh, the last OCA improvement with the uh, Solix uh, uh, platform. Uh, Solix platform has a specific uh, feature. Uh, first, uh, high speed uh, uh, acquisition uh, with a, a rate of uh, uh, 125,000 per second allows to generate very high density B scan with a cube scan. One of the important things in the uh, OCTA to uh, introduce this technology in clinical practice is to have a very uh, short time uh, acquisition and uh, with uh, uh, Solix, the time acquisition uh, is uh, uh, include between four seconds and 50 uh, seconds. Uh, OCT uh, Solix uh, uh, used the SADA uh, algorithm uh, whose specificity is to obtain a, a very uh, high contrast uh, OCT angiography between the decoloration signal and the uh, background. Uh, Solix used the motion correction technology and dual tract uh, in order to reduce strongly the artifact from high motion. Uh, also, Lix platform used a 3D projection artifact removal to improve and enhance OCTA uh, and analysis. And for uh, now, automatic uh, segmentation is clearly improved uh, by uh, deep learning with the best uh, RPE uh, and uh, uh, Brooks uh, membrane uh, recognition. One of the habits of uh, in OCTA is to use a very short scan to obtain the best uh, resolution in uh, OCTA, thanks to the new uh, uh, Solix platform uh, with the improve of uh, a B-scan density within the cube. You can see uh, very well uh, the CNV lesion, whatever the size of uh, the cube in six or nine or 12, and look here, in the cube of 12 or 12, you have a, a 600 B scan with a scan density of uh, uh, 20 uh, micron. And one is, is the important thing is to have a very short time acquisition uh, to include this technology in the clinical uh, daily uh, practice and also for the uh, patient uh, comfort. With a, a very high uh, scan uh, density with a, a wide uh, cube, you can uh, also uh, detect uh, the presence of uh, CNV, as in this case of uh, a chronic uh, CNC complicated with CNV uh, type, uh, type 1. Indeed, uh, OCTA uh, challenge is uh, to obtain a very good compromise between wide view and uh, resolution. Also, uh, some uh, with an uh, inflammatory uh, process, as in this case of acute multifocal placoid pigment uh, uh, epitheliopathy, you can show uh, very well uh, the white spell, multiple uh, uh, dark uh, spot in the white scan of uh, nine by nine with a very good correlation with uh, uh, ICG. Uh, montage and you can uh, follow up uh, this uh, lesion one month after without no uh, treatment and the good uh, resolution of this uh, uh, dark uh, spot. You have to keep in mind uh, about uh, the uh, quality of uh, emphasis uh, OCT embedded uh, with the OCT A uh, pattern in this case of the cube of uh, 12 by 12. You can very well analyze uh, analyze uh, the uh, RNFL uh, topography, in this case of uh, glaucoma. You can uh, analyze the degree of the defect as compared to the uh, GCC deviation uh, uh, map. And you can make a very good correlation uh, between uh, structural function and uh, visual field. And look here in a normal uh, case, uh, the RNFL is very well delineated in uh, uh, Enfas uh, OCT. Enfas OCT can be uh, useful to uh, uh, analyze uh, the corridor uh, topography to see if uh, there is a, a pachycoroid or a 
pachycoid uh, uh, spec, uh, spectrum in the, in the right uh, position with the embossed region, you enhance the choroidal uh, vasculature. With uh, uh, the new uh, platform uh, Solix, you can have a, a montage of uh, four cube of nine by nine to uh, analyze the uh, mild uh, periphery and uh, look in this case of uh, OCTA uh, about a sirsoid aneurysm in a, a wild field uh, angiography. You can see here the complication with the uh, ischemic uh, uh, in the uh, ischemic uh, area and uh, macular uh, edema. The segmentation now can uh, improve uh, by the, the deep learning. Uh, as you know, the segmentation is very important in the uh, OCT uh, angiography to obtain a very good uh, uh, images, uh, especially, especially in uh, a case of uh, challenges cases like uh, vascular uh, PED. Uh, in this case, you can see very well a very good recognition of the Brooks uh, membrane, in this case of fibrovascular uh, PED. And uh, sometimes with the automatic segmentation, without no uh, uh, deep learning, uh, you have to to switch in a, a manual uh, segmentation to, to see the presence of the CNV. And here, with the automatic segmentation, with the deep learning, you can see very well uh, the presence of CNV within the DAP with a good recognition of the Brooks uh, uh, membrane. So deep learning improves segmentation of the Brooks membrane recognition and allows better visualization of CNV uh, with uh, PED. And now, thanks to uh, Operation Artifact Removal and Deep Learning, improve the CNV visualization uh, during the uh, anti-VGF uh, uh, therapy to uh, analyze the flow uh, surface and the, uh, changing the, the changes uh, during uh, the therapy and uh, uh, to analyze the recurrence of uh, uh, the uh, a new uh, vessel. Another way, uh, interesting uh, uh, pathway is the 3D volume rendering. As you know, in OCT uh, angiography, sometimes it's difficult to see the wall lesion and you have to perform several segmentation to analyze uh, the, the wall lesion. And uh, for now, with, uh, five, with the four uh, uh, consecutive uh, volume scan of three uh, by three, you can have a, a a 3D uh, rendering of uh, the lesion to uh, appreciate uh, the, uh, in this case, the dome uh, shape of uh, the uh, CNV, explaining the, uh, the shape of this uh, base scan and this characteristic uh, lesion in a uh, best uh, disease. Another case about uh, a CNV complicated MAC uh, tail, uh, you can see. Uh, here, the anormal uh, connection and astomosis between uh, superficial capillaries uh, and uh, uh, intraretinal uh, neoviscarization. So, in conclusion, uh, last OCTA improvement in Solix platform facilitates OCTA analysis, which become less operator dependent. Deep learning improves strongly automatic segmentation. High scan density B scan allows the use of white cubes such as. 9 by 9 or 12 by 12. 3D volume rendering seems to be an interesting approach to assess the whole CNV uh, lesion and the uh, shape. And uh, you have to uh, keep in mind uh, about the, 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 the use of the structural emphasis OCT. It can be very useful uh, whether to determine pachycoroid spectrum with choroidal topography or NFL, RNFL topography to better structural function correlation. Thanks for your attention and stay safe. Oh.